What's going on everybody? Daniel here again, and today we've got a Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial for you guys. We're gonna be learning how to do a color grade like Christian Mate Grab, really getting that faded look. For those of you who don't know, Christian is a YouTuber slash filmmaker from Germany. He's got some really great stuff, so I'll link that down below. And Christian, please take this video as a compliment. Today we're gonna be doing this grade using Color Finale in Final Cut Pro 10. If you don't already have Color Finale, I highly recommend you get this plugin. It is a life changer for color grading, so please go ahead and get it. You are doing yourself a favor. So without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. All right guys, so here we are in Final Cut Pro 10. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is get your clip into your timeline, which I've already done. From there, we're gonna go into our effects and find color finale and we're gonna drag that over top of our clip. Once we have applied color finale to our clip, you wanna go ahead and open the controls and this will bring up this window right here. In this window, we have four options on the left side. We've got our color wheels, our curves, our lookup tables and our vectors. For today's look, we're gonna be only using the color wheels and curves. I know Christian uses his Cine Vintage LUT, but today I'm gonna to show you guys how to achieve this look without using a LUT. So firstly, let's open up the color wheels and you are given three controls here. The lift controls your shadows, the gamma controls your midtones, and the gain controls your highlights. And the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do just looking at this clip is maybe brighten it up a little bit. So I'm gonna go here to our gain and just and just lift up the exposure a little bit. And I think that looks pretty good. And the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is fix your white balance. Now, I think the white balance looks okay on this clip, but if you want to adjust it, all you do is take the gain color wheel and move it around until you are happy with how it looks. So once we've fixed the exposure and the white balance, go ahead and make a curves layer. And here you have four different curves. Today, we're only gonna worry about the master curve. Starting with the bottom left, these are your shadows. And as we move up the curve, we get into the highlights. So start off by making a point right in the middle of your master curve, then go ahead and make another point in between the middle point and the bottom point. Now take the very bottom point and lift it up the Y axis until you get the desired fade you are going for. So I'd say that looks pretty good for now. You can always adjust this later. So now we want to adjust the color wheels. Looking at Kristen's clip, he's got a lot of blue tones in the highlights. So I'm gonna to go to the gain wheel and start pushing in some blues. I think that looks pretty good. Now we're noticing that I look a little bit green. So let's go into the midtones and push away from green to counteract that. And now the shadows are looking a little bit red. So let's move this away from red. And I say we're off to a pretty good start. So I think we can push the limits even further by going back into our curves and playing with the contrast a little. Try pulling this point down and playing with that and maybe moving this up a little bit more until you have the desired fade that you're going for. I'd say already we are looking a lot like how Christian's footage looks, but this is up to you guys how much you wanna customize it. For me, this amount of fade is a little too much. I would probably tone it back a little bit, but you guys can go crazy with this look. So here's the before and after clip. As you can see, it looks a lot different and we've got that nice faded look that Christian has on all his videos. So there you go guys, pretty simple. So if you liked the video, hit it with a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for the next one. Peace.